Almost done. Looks clean everywhere. Good thing I asked Sam to help. Hmm, I wonder what's in here. <gasps> oh no! Sam! Yes, Sue? Uh-oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Sam, stay. What's all this rubbish doing in the box? Well, that's how I helped you with cleaning. But you were supposed to put the rubbish out, not hide it. But look, this and that <sighs> can be of use and uh, a paper rolls. We need them. Uh, admit it. It was just too cold outside and you didn't want to put the rubbish out. <sighs> Very cold out there. But perhaps we can make something out of this stuff. Let's see what we've got. Very useful caps. A paper roll and some fishing line. I've got an idea. Have you heard about marionettes? Yeah! These candies taste horrible. <laughs> These aren't candies, Sam. Come, I'll show you. Huh? Hi, guys. Today, I'll show you and Sam how to make a cool marionette puppet out of everyday items. First, let's take a piece of orange. <laughs> But Sam, where have you seen pink foxes? Uh, no, definitely not in the Tibidabo. Mm, you, you can, can read my mind now? <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's draw an outline of a fox head and its tail. You can also use a stencil to help you with this. There. Now, let's cut them out. Remember to be very careful with the scissors, guys. Right. Now, let's make some white fur for the face and the tip of the tail. There. There. Got it. Now, we'll cut them out again. I'll go nice and slow with it. And then, I'll glue them with a glue stick. <laughs> oh, Sammy! It's clear that mustache doesn't suit me. <laughs> now I'll add eyes and a nose with the help of the black marker. And color it in all the way. Wow, it really looks like a fox! Well, that's what it is. But what does the fox say? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know this song, but enough. Oh. Let's continue. Hey, Sam, could you please bring me the stuff from under the box? All right, just a moment. And meanwhile, I'll cut a rectangle from the orange piece of paper. <laughs> All right, I'll take this roll and wrap the orange rectangle around it. You can attach the paper with the double-sided tape or with the glue. If you stick sticky tape on a non-sticky surface, you will stick non-sticky surface to the sticky tape. Uh, what? I'm practicing my articulation. This tape has to have some use at least. If you stick a sticky tape on a non-sticky... <laughs> this is what I've made so far. I'll mark the holes for legs and arms with a marker. There and here. Now, I'll make the holes with the help of a drawing pin. Make holes with this? No, Sam. Uh. Then this? No, no, Sam. Uh. Hmm. What about this? Uh, no, with a drawing pin. Boring. But it works. Hmm. Now I'll take the string that someone was supposed to throw away but uh. decided to do otherwise. <laughs> First, I'll make the arms. I'll put the string through the holes and tie knots on the ends to keep them in place. There. Now I'll make the legs <laughs> in the same manner. Next, I'll take the caps that someone was supposed to... I know, I know. Supposed to throw well away. Well done. <laughs> I've made holes in the caps as well. Right There's in the middle. Extra. I'll keep it. Uh, what for? For fashion reasons. Fashion, eh? Oh, well. 
I'll get the string through the opening and tie the knots. Now I'll glue the head and the tail onto the body. Just like this. <laughs> there, almost done. Uh, it's a weird puppet. Well, Sam, it's not done yet. Now yeah. comes the fun part. I'll take two bamboo skewers. Uh, are you going to make fruit fish again? What fish, Sam? You know, the yummy one. Oh, no. I'll place them across from each other. And secure them with tape. I'll mark them here and here. And there and there. Now, I'll tie pieces of fishing line to the skewers. Aha! Fishing line! I knew there would be fish! <laughs> I'm watching! I'll secure the knots with tape. And I'll attach the other ends to the feet and the body. I'll put the line through and secure it with tape, like this. And then to the body, on both sides. <laughs> Looks like you've caught a large fish. <laughs> Come watch this wonder fish. Ah, I mean fox. You've confused me. <laughs> Check it out. It can dance. See? I'm not even touching it. Not a fish. It's amazing what one can do with rubbish. Speaking about rubbish, there's still some left. Uh, okay, I'll put it out. And we'll wait for you here. Oh, hey, and put your hat on. It's cold. By the way, guys, what chores do you have? Write in the comments. I hope you're not lazy like Sam. <laughs> Let's dance. You're in a good mood, Sam. I need to warm up. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Come on, ducky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Go, Fox. Go. Ooh. All right, guys. This one deserves a big thumbs up. Did you like the video? Give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the most wonderful channel of the most wonderful slime. And now to the next video. Enjoy another adventure. The most wonderful, of course. Oh, you are such a cutie. Hmm, what does this crap want from you now? Uh, bad, bad crap! Leave her alone! Hmm, this non-sweet popcorn again. Oh, whatever, I'm so hungry. <sighs> oh, ouch! That's gotta hurt. Oh, little mermaid. My sweet little mermaid. I think I'm falling in love. <sighs> Hey guys! Today, I'll show you how to make super cute sea candles. We're going to need three glasses, some seashells, gel, and these hard candle wicks. Sue, do you know who lives in the castle under the sea? Uh, a fancy SpongeBob? No, silly! The Little Mermaid! Oh, so what? I can't live without her! That's what? <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. I'll get back to the candles. First, I'll pour some colored sand into the candles. Not too much, or it'll be a sand sculpture instead of a candle. So, uh, let's split it. Hmm, there. Uh, that should be enough. Carefully 
And the last one. Hello. I'm off to live under the sea with the little mermaid. Oh. Well, what about Ducky? Huh? Ducky? Well, what can I say? Unlike me, she is not getting any younger. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Actually, I think you have a type now. What type? Well, a type of girl you like. All of your loves have something to do with water. <laughs> you got a problem with that? No, it's just weird it's water and not candy. I can have it both ways. Guys, who likes both the sea and candy? Give a thumbs up. <laughs> I also have a few large seashells. I'll place them nicely in each glass. And this spiky one here. Oh, that one's my favorite. Ah, what should I take with me? Oh, well, I guess you need a gift. Uh, you're probably right. Then wait until I'm done with the candles and you can take one of them. Oh, wow! Thank you! But only if no slime will be harmed in the process. <laughs> oh, no harm, I promise. Now let's continue to complete the candles with some smaller seashells. I'll pour them right into the glasses, like this. Oh, let's put candy inside! Oh, I don't know. It might make huh. the candles worse. Then put candy in me. It'll only make me better. <laughs> oh, Sammy. <laughs> Now, let's fill the glasses with this candle gel. It's like transparent toothpaste. Is there a mermaid gel? I don't think so, Sammy. <sighs> Next step will be to melt the gel in the glasses. So I'll take a small pot like this, put the glasses inside one by one, and fill the pot with water. Here, you really have to pay attention. Because if the water gets inside the gel, it'll become cloudy. And there. Oh, Sue, I know that mermaids like candy! Give me a few! Well, of course they do. Here. <laughs> okay, it's been an hour and the gel is now clear. Let's leave the pot to cool down. Here. Sue, am I a mermaid dream or what? <laughs> Definitely, Sam. Uh, can you even swim? Don't be so Silly, of course! And I'll show ya if everyone subscribes! Hey guys, can you swim? Leave a comment below! Okay, let's see what happened to the candles. They should be cooled by now. Hmm. Uh, Sam, what are you doing? I, uh, well, it just looks so much like jello. Ugh, go, or there will be no present. Uh, uh. Let's take these wicks and insert them into the glasses all the way down. Aw, I just wish these bubbles wouldn't pop up. Hmm, make sure not to break it and place it exactly in the middle. It's going really smooth, guys. There. These wicks are so convenient to use. As long as you're careful, it's really easy. Leave a bit of the wick above the surface so we can light up the candles. Oh, Sue, you are a genius. Aw, I hope the Little Mermaid will like them. <laughs> but before you go, say hi to Ducky. You forgot it's her birthday. <gasps> well, if you insist. Guys. If you want to get to know Sam better, comment below and we'll tell you even more funny stories of his life. And uh, while you're doing that, we'll show you another cool thing. Despicable me! Despicable me! Despicable me! 
Everyone can see that. You won't even let me tell what I'll be making today. <laughs> well, that's easy. Something boring, of course. No! Boring, boring! Oh. Phew! Sam has finally calmed down, at least for a while. And I can show you what I'm gonna make today. Oh, it's suddenly become so cold here, and I really need slippers to wear at home. I'll make them from these materials. <laughs> Sam! Oh, you are not on the water to go for a banana ride. <laughs> Sammy, what is up with you? It's because of your slippers. They've awoken something despicable. <sighs> really? <laughs> These are just slippers. They couldn't have awoken anything like that. <laughs> Guys, do you wear slippers at home? <laughs> Write in the comments. <laughs> Looks like Sam has finally calmed down, and now I can start. I need to sew this part to this one. But first... Would you like to try a banana with cream? Oh, thanks, Sam. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> oh, it's Chesky's! <laughs> No control. Passing toothpaste for cream is very naughty. All right, I'll continue. I'll take some of this purple wool and wrap it around my fingers just like this. And that should be enough. Now, I'm gonna take it off, attach it right here to give the wild minion some wild fluffy hair. Now we'll stitch it together just like this. Stitch by stitch. And some more here. Almost. Now I'm gonna add some red to give it a little bit more decoration. Does this hair do suit me? Look! <laughs> <laughs> well, though you are wild, I think you're better off without it. Fine. But this wild minion does need a hairdo. So I'll take these scissors and cut the wool very, very carefully. Then I'll fluff it up with a toothbrush to make it really, really fluffy. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! Oh, please don't. It's so fluffy! <laughs> I went ahead and made the second one as well. But, uh, <gasps> wait, where's the first one? Uh, Sam? Oh. Sam, wake up, it's not a bed. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm off. Go on. And I'll attach it to the top of the sole. I need to do it very slowly to make sure it doesn't get all distorted. Hey, Yasu, what would you call two bananas? Uh, I don't know, just bananas, I guess. Frog, a pair of slippers! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm making here. Right, just a little bit more. And one slipper is done! Yeah, now I need to make the other. Uh, Come on, get in there! Oh, I need to save it for the sweet day! Come on, oh, dumb banana! It's additional decoration for your slippers. Uh, thanks, but I'd rather do without it. Why can't you do without slippers? I can. Well, I won't make slippers for you then. Ah! And mine are ready. Warm and cozy. Now my feet won't get cold. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the result was really amazing, guys. Don't you think? If you agree, give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll show you lots of cool things. Are you done? Good job. Now you'll be rewarded with another interesting craft. Another day goes by. Oh, and I'm not getting any younger. What a life. Hi, Sammy. Good day, Sue. If it can be called a good day, huh? which I doubt. Uh, what? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just a hmm. me. I can't, especially after seeing how you haven't touched your candies today. Oh, I'm just not in the candy mood today. Huh, that's rather unlike you. And I have more news for you. You'd better sit down. I'm already sitting. Oh, Fluffy has chewed your socks, so now you only have 
Oh, well, that's fine. I have more. Oh, well, at least somebody's having a good day. Oh, Sam, we need to make you feel better. Hmm. <gasps> Let's make you a sock friend. Hmm, this, this is slightly interesting. <laughs> that's better. Hey, everyone. Today, I'll be making a companion toy for Sam to cheer him up. Do you have any ideas on how to cheer Sam up when he's feeling down? Write in the comments. Nothing can cheer me up. Mm, you'll see. These guys are creative. They'll think of something. Oh. To make this funny toy, I'll need a sock and a glass of rice. Uh. I'll pour the rice into the sock. Like this. Here you go. And there. It's to keep your companion in good shape. Not all of us can. And some of us won't. That's all there is to it. Can't all what? Be in good shape. Here we go around the candy bush. Uh, <laughs> all right. Maybe you'll go around the bush together? Will you? Will you make a candy bush? Hmm. Maybe. Right. I've tied the sock across the middle and at the top, too. Now nothing will fall out. It looks like a snowman. Well, maybe just a little. But it's only half done. <sighs> It's time to nap then. <sighs> <sighs> While Sam is napping, I'll continue making the toy for him. I'll place it just like this. Now I'll take some scissors and cut out a triangle. <gasps> Be very careful with the scissors, guys. Do it nice and slow. There. They uh, <laughs> look like ears. Yes, you're right. Long bunny <sighs> ears. Bunnies eat carrots, uh -huh. right? I need to bring some for the bunny! Oh, that's a very good idea. Besides, carrots can be really sweet. Oh. Almost like candy. Then I'll go see if we have it! <laughs> go on! <laughs> and I'll take a black marker and draw the bunny's face. A little nose. Right there. And some eyes. Aww. And now, a little mouth. The bunny will need it for eating the carrot. I'll color it in just like this and give some eyelashes. Right! <laughs> oh, so small! Carrot. Just the right size! I try. That's our Sammy. <laughs> and I'm almost done. I only need to put on a scarf. <gasps> Something important's what? missing! The tail! Oh! Hmm. Maybe, maybe the tail was there but got lost? No, Sammy. There hasn't been a tail yet. But I can easily fix it. Ah. I'll just take a thread and form the tail. Like this. Mm -hmm. And done! Here's a bunny with a round tail and long ears. It'll cheer you up when you need it. <laughs> but I'm already all cheered up! <laughs> oh. You... You've eaten almost the whole carrot? Yes. It's so tasty. I'll break some more! Oh. Bunny, don't you go anywhere! I think the bunny will wait for you. <laughs> Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this sock bunny and subscribe to the channel to follow Sam's adventures. And if you make this bunny, send us a picture. Bye! Oh, oh, here, here! Help yourself! You'll eat a bite and start talking right away, yes? Yeah! Hey, Sammy, <gasps> can I have one too? Of course! Carrots for everyone! Carrots! <laughs>